new. Um, <laughs> don't forget, we are now shipping uh, back to our old super fast shipping yeah. because uh, we've had the phase recovery in New York. We have our staff shipping safe and smart. Um, we're also shipping Adabox this month. So thank you everyone for your patience. First up, Lady Ada. Okay, first up, we've got the Spark Fun Quick Pie Hat. Um, uh, Spark Fun has a lot of cool accessories for their quick boards, and they also work with all our SemiQT boards, so it makes it an easy win for us to pick them up because you can use them with our sensors. So this board plugs into a Raspberry Pi and gives you four, count them, four I squared C ports, uh, so you can connect any, we have a couple dozen now, uh, I squared C sensors that are plug and play. Uh, it plugs into any Raspberry Pi or a single board computer that has the I squared C pins in the same locations. And you might be wondering like, why do I say single board computer? It's because the NVIDIA Jetson and other boards are kind of, uh, you know, the Google Coral are, Oops, sorry. sorry, it's okay. We got excited. Um, the Google Coral have the same pin out. Uh, and so you can use um, the Adafruit Blinka library that gives you circuit Python support on like a wide range of single board computers. And you can plug this in so you don't have to do any soldering. So let me show on the overhead real fast how this works. So you plug it in, it kind of goes like upside down, but that makes it for a very um, nice and easy assembly. So you can see here, here's the four plugs and each one is, you know, there's basically the same I squared C port. Um, it plugs into the two by 20 header like so. If you use extra long headers like we have in the shop, you can then plug in another um, bonnet or hat on top. And then you can just plug in any sensors like this barometric pressure sensor, we've got OLEDs, We've got an air quality sensor we just came out with. Um, all plug in very easily and then use our circuit Python code on Blinka to get it running on your Raspberry Pi. All right, next up. Okay, now we're ready for this thing. This is the TMP 235 breakout. We kind of wanted to make a um, analog temperature sensor that was plug and play with a Stemma JST uh, P, uh, pH connector on the end. So um, this is a really simple sensor, it's very low cost. Basically you give it three to five volts and then um, on, you know, on power and ground and then the third pin has an analog voltage and on the uh, back, uh, it even gives you uh, the formula for how to calculate the temperature. You take the output, you subtract half a volt because um, that way you can go to negative uh, 50 degrees C, multiply by 100, and that's the temperature. So, you know, we have I squared C temperature sensors, tons of them, but once in a while you're like, look, I just want something really inexpensive, really simple. I just want an analog voltage input. This is very similar to the TMP36, which is very popular, but it's plug and play. So you can see here, you just um, pick up one of our stemma cables, you can get it with alligator clips, with headers, plug it in, and you're ready to go. And that's it. That's that product. Okay. And next up to start is show besides our community and you and our team, Lady Ada, is? The PCF8591. It's a quad ADC and a DAC. It's a very interesting chip. Not exactly sure what this was designed for. Probably like a car radio, though, because every time I'm like, what is this for? It's always like a radio, you know, playback system for cars or something. But you get four analog inputs, 8-bit and one analog output, which is unusual. You usually don't get both. Uh, and it's all controlled over I squared C. It's a really simple chip. We've got Python and Arduino code. And this would be really handy, I think. You know, I have the demo here with uh, a Feather, but I think it should be really great for use with, again, single board computers like a, a Raspberry Pi or a Jetson or a Coral or any of these other Linux boards that have I squared C and you just want to add some like potentiometers or um, like analog, simple analog sensors and you don't want to get like a more expensive ADC and maybe you want a DAC for some reason, you want to like control a gauge or a, a bias voltage. It's only eight bits, but really that's good enough for many projects, um, like volume control or, or contrast control or whatever. So here I've got uh, you know three potentiometers and as I twist them, you can see they range from zero all the way to the end to 255. So these are the, the three inputs and of course there's one more input I don't have connected. Um, and it comes in a STEMI QT format so you can just plug it in. You can plug it into that uh, quick Pi hat we showed earlier and uh, works from three to five volts. So it's a great way to just add, you know, very simple ADC inputs to your 
uh, I squared C cubable board. All right, and with that is 